It was an excellent season for the club in 2020-21 as we were crowned League One champions. How do you reflect on the campaign as a whole? Oh, obviously it was a fantastic season and, it, and it's amazing to finish top first time in 55 years. So it's, uh, it's an amazing achievement to finish top. But for me, the real achievement is, is actually finishing five places above uh, the play away ranking. That for me is a real achievement because that shows that as a club, we're performing well and we're punching above our weight. Uh, I know there are some clubs who actually try to spend their way to success. But I think in the fact that the club is trying to achieve a sustainable model, then to be able to punch above your weight is, is uh, it's a sweeter taste than had we spent our way to success. After relegation in 2019-20, how big an achievement was it to turn things around so quickly? Ah, the, the, you know, what happened to us at the back end of last season was really, really tough to take. Uh, and I think the... The key points were just to really try to assess what was the, the cause of that failure, because it was a massive failure at the end of the day. But it's, it was key to understand what actually caused the failure, what actually caused the breakdown, and then to try and remedy those issues and not to try and fix the wrong problem. So I think, we, well, you know, with hindsight, we did do a great job at that. Uh, but that was really the key to really identify what has actually gone wrong and to fix those things and not to have a a knee-jerk reaction to the relegation and, 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 and to start to fix the things that went broken. Uh, so we did a good job at that with hindsight. What were the main factors that contributed to our success? Exactly what I've just said. I, th I think it was actually trying to identify what had gone wrong and, and, and uh, the best ways of fixing that. So I think we've improved the contractual situation of the play so that we don't find ourselves in a situation where you're coming to an end of this of a season and you don't get the buying from the players because they've already started to look for the next contract. So if you look at this season, for example, our starting eleven are still fully under contract for next season. So you don't have the same concerns and they've got the vested interest to still perform all the way through to the end of the season. They're not worried about picking up injuries, etc. etc. Uh, and that was our main downfall at the back end of last season. Uh, recruitment's been really good, we've really focused on our style of play, uh, what's the club philosophy, what's the style, what's the expectation of each position. We want young and hungry players, of course, but you also need to blend that with the experience of, of, of the more senior players as well. I think we've just done that really well last summer, so the recruitment's been great, the playing philosophy and style has been great, and it's fantastic to get the buy-in from the coaching staff for that as well. Uh, I'm really, really pleased that you know that we stuck with Grant. I think he's done an exceptional job. It's so hard to finish top and 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 to keep your nerves and and to keep calm. And you know, really, you only get this from the really experienced managers, in particular. You know, thinking back to when we have uh, Steve Bruce, he did such a fantastic job at the time of the season when nerves start to flow through. The, you know the whole squad, and and so Grant, you know, considering the fact that he's still a young manager, I think he handled the situation exceptionally well. So calm, so considered, and just stuck to the plan. And I think he did a fantastic job. Will you be looking to keep the core of that team together? Yes, of course. You know, it's a fantastic team. Uh, the cohesion, the personalities, I just think we've got a really good vibe within the squad at the moment. And, you know, like I said, it's, it, it's the first time in a long time that the starting 11 have all been under contract. So the plan is to stick uh, with the core of the team that we have and then just to make some sensible additions, which we obviously started with the signing of Moncur. How pleasing was it to see so many young players being given an opportunity in the first team and to be able to tie them down to new contracts? Yeah, of course. That's what everybody clubs. Uh, that is what every club wants to see, isn't it? To, you know, to have the homegrown players coming through the youth system and straight into the first team. So, of course, it's really pleasing to see. Uh, and long may continue. You know, we invest heavily into the academy, and we're starting to see the rewards of that as well. You know, year on year now. So we've entered the transfer window now in the summer. What can we expect in terms of incomings and outgoings? Uh, like I said, with the starting eleven, the core of the squad, we're not planning to make any changes. So I don't 
see anybody leaving. I don't expect this to be a uh, a very good selling market for clubs. So for me, you know, the intention is is actually not to sell and to retain players, and then just to strengthen in 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 in, in the depth of the squad. Uh, so I'd expect to see six or seven signings coming in. Will Grant be back financially in this window? Financially is tough to say he'll be supported financially. We have a budget that we have to work to. It's very difficult. Financial circumstances at the moment, as I suppose everybody can appreciate with the year we've had. Uh, actually, it, it's been more than a year because it'll be 15, 16 months before we actually get fans back in August. Uh, so financially, it's been really, really tough, and it will, and it will continue to be tough for the uh, for the next season at least. Uh, so we don't really have funds to spend on the transfers, but I think we're more than capable of of, of recruiting uh, a decent squad with the funds available. What type of players are we looking to recruit? Uh, you know, like I said. We do have a club-led philosophy uh, and a playing style which the whole team fully supports and backs. So that makes the recruitment process a little bit easier because we're all on the same page of what's expected from, uh, from each player uh, within each position. So that makes the recruitment so much easier. Uh, but obviously as a trading club where we do need to add value, we're looking for young, hungry players with the potential to improve still. The retain list was announced last month. Reese Burke and George Long, their options weren't taken up. What was the rationale behind that? Well, they were signed three seasons ago. So when you consider the position we're in just after relegation, we still had the parachute payments. Uh, and the financial landscape in football was so different to actually how it is now. So at the time, the option years uh, had a small increase in those options. So when you consider what they would have been on next season with the option years kicking in, it just wasn't feasible when you consider the current financial landscape. Is the club working on new contracts for any other players? Yes, of of course, we're looking to recruit uh, another five or six players uh, and also looking to tie down existing players for longer. I think you will hear some announcements this week, hopefully. How is the club gearing up for the return of supporters next season and what can fans expect upon their return? Ah, it's a little bit of a strange one because obviously the last time we saw fans were in the Championship. We've had a season in League One and then fans are coming back uh, actually straight back into the championship again so uh, yeah and and so one of the unique experiences of, uh, of of a season behind closed doors is you get to actually hear so much more of actually what goes on in the game you know, you, uh, and so for example I, I can hear every single word which is said by the players and the coaching staff so that's been quite a unique experience which I've enjoyed but there is nothing like having the fans back and having the vibe and the atmosphere of, of the fans back in the stadium. So uh, I, I'd expect them to be really hopeful uh, of a successful season, of a successful campaign, you know, back in the championship. Uh, I don't like to focus on where we'll finish expectations. Uh, I do have... Uh, some desires and hopes of where we could finish next season, but I've really started to change the culture within the org you know, within the organisation to focus on uh, on the team outperforming our budget. Uh, and like I said, the greatest success from last season was that we finished five places above the financial ranking of the squad. Uh, and so that's a real focus. We still need to punch. Uh, we still need to punch above our weight. What would you class as a successful first season back in the championship? To punch above our weight. <laughs> so if we can have a wage budget which is roughly mid-table, if we can actually maintain the finishing five or six places above that, then it gives us a chance of top six. But the focus has to be on 
on the team outperforming the budget. What close season work is being carried out? On the footballing side, just the recruitment, obviously. Uh, but then behind the scenes, actually trying to bring the stadium back up to, uh, you know, an acceptable level, to, you know, for the return of fans. Obviously, without any income, there's been very little maintenance on the stadium in that time. So we're having a full renovation on the pitch this summer. It's a six weeks renovation, which is well underway. Uh, so we look forward to having everybody back at the start of August, full stadium and a fantastic actual surface to play on with a fantastic squad, hopefully. There has been speculation online recently surrounding the ownership of the club. What can you tell us with regards to a potential takeover? Uh, same as what I've always said, we have interested parties. In, I would say more so now because of the promotion and, and, and also finishing top. Uh, but, you know, for me, it is just business as usual, like I've always said, and until there is somebody serious, until there's an offer on the table which is acceptable, it's just business as usual. What is the plan for beyond this season? Where do you plan on taking this club? We've always focused on actually trying to build a sustainable club, and I think the last three or four seasons has been fairly successful. I think we've actually made a lot of progress into making the club more and more sustainable. Part of that sustainability is to accept that we have to trade players, we have to develop and we have to trade players as a part of that sustainability. And we're not far off there, actually. Obviously, the last season was very, very tough and exceptional circumstances, but if you put that aside, I think the business model that we have is, is actually much more sustainable. And if we can punch above our weight, then that, for me, is the real key to success. For the club going forward and, and that's my main focus.